Hey guys, I'm going to be talking about theorist Myra Levine and her development of the conservation model. So Myra was born in Chicago in 1920. She achieved her BSN degree in 1949. And in Myra's years as working as a nurse, she became very experienced in oncology nursing. She was a civilian nurse at the Gardner General Hospital and became the director of nursing at Drexel Home in Chicago. She later became a clinical instructor at Bryan Memorial Hospital in Lincoln, Nebraska, and administrative supervisor at the University of Chicago. She served as a chairperson of clinical nursing at her alma mater, the Cook County School of Nursing, and as a visiting professor at Tel Aviv University in Israel. So My Myra was very well-rounded as a nurse. She is um, known for her publication, Introduction to Clinical Nursing, and she developed the four conservation models. Um, so actually the four conservation principles, which are found in the conservation model. And the four conservation principles are conservation of energy, conservation of structural integrity, conservation of personal integrity, and conservation of social integrity. So, conservation of energy refers to balancing a patient's energy from leaving the body to prevent fatigue. Conservation of structural integrity refers to promoting healing and maintaining a healthy physical body for the patient. Conservation of personal integrity refers to recognizing a patient, having respect for that patient, and recognizing their self-awareness and determination. And conservation of social integrity refers to recognizing and respecting the patient's interactions socially, such as with family, friends, or religious affiliation. Wholeness is promoted by the use of the conservation principles, and Levine made it very clear that your goal as a nurse is to promote wholeness for your patient. Um, and Myra wanted to make it clear that every individual has a unique range of responses, and it's important for the nurse to adapt to each individual. So you must implement each principle according to the uniqueness of each patient. So you're going to implement these in your practice, but you're going to do them at different times, um, different manifestations, different situations. Um, and I believe that these, this model really falls under the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It's a more complex version of Maslow's hierarchy of needs in a sense, um, such as conservation of structural integrity, which refers to promoting healing and maintaining a healthy physical body for your patient. So making sure they're fed, making sure their medicines are um, administered, making sure they have good personal hygiene and that can also fall under personal integrity having respect for your for your patient and um, recognizing their self-awareness um, and then social integrity um, maintaining that is falls under Maslow's hierarchy of needs of basically acceptance um, and having relationships with people and respecting their religious affiliations. So I believe that it's just a, it's almost a more complex version of Maslow's hierarchy of needs and I believe that you are going to that you probably already have implemented these principles into your nursing practice when we're in clinical or if you work as a nurse intern or CNA, you definitely implement these principles in your practice. And I believe nurses will continue to implement these principles in order to achieve wholeness for your patient to, to make sure all their needs are being met, um, which also falls under Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Um, and Myra Levine died in 1996 while she was on hospice. Um, after leaving behind a pretty big legacy and a lot of good research and information for us to continually practice on as nurses. So thank you for listening to my presentation on Myra Levine and the conservation model.